provided for our school children. Our beef and pork comes from several farms in and around Murrayshire, making sure that we support local producers and keep our carbon footprints low. My name is Graham Duffus. Uh, the business that I'm in just now is Fraser Brothers Butcher, 72 High Street Forest. I've been supplying Murray Council now with uh, all the fresh beef, lamb, pork and chicken, manufactured products, burgers, sausages, etc., haggis, for approximately the past six years. We um, predominantly buy all our beef from Rhines of Elgin, along with our lamb and our pork. All the manufacturing is done in the premises where we make uh, all their sausages, their burgers, their haggis. Um, we cure their own bacon on the premises. This would be the hot dog style sausages we make for the schools. What separates us between the supermarket sausages all our sausages are handmade. You can't get automatic machines, but it looks just like a factory sausage. The big hot dog sausages, but the ones that we would make for just the, the standard pork sausages coming at a more narrow skin. These are 28 diameter. Where possible, our vegetable supplier works with the farmers to agree planting for each session to ensure supplies for our schools. Hi, I'm Magnus Swanson. I'm the owner and managing director of Swanson's Fruit Company. We have four outlets, Inverness, Nairn, Lossiemouth and Elgin. This is the Elgin unit and from here we supply all the Murray Council schools. So we have four vans working out of this depot and six staff. Um, buy as much produce locally as we can. I'm leaning on some Avis potatoes here which go to the schools and the turnips as well, um, a lot of cabbage, cauliflower, carrots. You can hear the phone in the background, that's probably an order coming in from one of the schools for tomorrow. So we try our best to support local farmers. We work with them to get them to grow uh, what the schools require, uh, vegetables, fruits, salads, even berries, strawberries, raspberries, etc. So we encourage them to grow that and if the quality is good enough we'll buy it all from them for the schools. So the kids are getting local produce with very low food miles so it's kinder to the environment. Our local baker McLean's of Forest and Smith's of Huntley work through the night to prepare fresh bread for each lunchtime. We supply money schools with a selection of goods, uh, breads, rolls and also uh, French breads. Hi, uh, my name's Lewis McLean from McLean's Highland Bakery in Forest. Uh, this is a, our new bakery and we're supplying most half the schools in Murray on the west, yes, <laughs> west side of Murray with bread and rolls fresh every day. And we'll be making about 60 loaves of this mix. Okay. known as a spiral mixer, it's basically a big corkscrew going round and it'll take eight minutes to mix from start to finish. Local deliveries by local businessmen ensure our food is delivered fresh and on time. See you now. Bye. 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 
Our cooks look forward to seeing their local suppliers and freshly preparing your meals daily. All our school meals are nutritionally analysed to provide a balanced diet over each school week. Imbalances in diet can mean children and young people are at a higher risk of developing serious diet-related diseases and conditions such as diabetes, heart disease and cancer in later life. It is important that we provide them with the knowledge and variety to make a healthy choice for their lunch each day. Eating healthy means getting the right balance of food and nutrients to help us grow and develop. The Eat Well plate that you see here shows us how much of what we eat should come from each group. The main points are have a starchy food at each meal time, have five portions of fruit and veg each day, try to cut down on salt, sugar and fats. A six-week menu cycle provides plenty of choice. School meals value for money and peace of mind that our school children are getting all the nutrients they need for growth and development.